Welcome back to the Visual Bucket 4.7.0 tutorial! Yay! So today we're gonna go over the Event Listener Player Interact. So since we've already gone over the basics of a lot of Visual Bucket and just how to, you know, make things function on Visual Bucket, we're gonna go deep dive into some of the Event Listeners and the Block Selectors for a little while, and hopefully videos will be a little quicker and we'll be able to get through them. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is go to Event Listener, and the Event Listener we are doing today is going to be the Player Interact. Player interact. So what the player interact is, is anytime a player clicks on a block, right clicks on a block, or right clicks, or regular clicks an item in their inventory. So we're going to go over how to set both of those up and how to give players specific item so they're not just clicking with whatever. So first thing we're going to start out with is an if statement. So we always change it to equals. We're going to get player interact item. Get item. So once we've got that item, now we need to be very specific on what item this is. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go new item, new item stack. We're going to come over here to the three little dots and we're actually going to go to item stack. So that way now we can actually come in and say a new named item with lore. And this lore is the thing that's going to help us be able to identify exactly what item they have. So let's put this in. And so we're going to give them, let's just say a stick. So the material is a stick and we're gonna name the stick cool kid stick, okay? And so then the lore, what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna insert a list and then we're just gonna add a raw string, raw string, and we're gonna type whatever we want. And this is going to show up under the lore of this item. So let's just say this is a stick for a cool kid. Perfect. So now this is just when the player interacts. So we wanna make sure that the player, when they interact, are actually right clicking. So they're using the right click button instead of left clicking a bunch of stuff. Equals, we're gonna go player interact and we're going to get the action that they use. So if that action is equal to right click air, so when they right click the air, if their action is right clicking the air, with a stick named cool kid stick with the lore this is a stick for cool kids we're gonna add nest to cool kids then we want them to first just broadcast a message hey i am a cool kid perfect so now what we actually need is we need to go find a way to get the player this stick that we created up here so we're just going to use commands plug in component command and so we're going to say when they type in cool we want to drop item in the world and i already pinned this because i use it all the time in what world we're going to go entity world get world of entity what entity the command sender at location we're going to entity get entity location of what entity again is the command sender and what item are we going to give we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to go a new uh, named item with lore what was the item it was a stick what was the stick's name it was called cool kid stick and the lore we're going to insert a list add to the list it's a raw string and we called it this is a stick for cool kids this is a stick for cool kids perfect so when they type cool it's going to send this is a stick for cool kids all right let's build it and go see if this works no we're gonna go slash reload confirm then we're gonna go slash cool to get our stick and there's our stick right there and it's called the cool kids stick and the lore i was talking about is right here so it said this is a stick for cool kids and that right there is a way to let players understand what actually the stick does to have an actual description but it also makes it so that only this stick can work for the plugin. So now when we right click the air with this stick, let's go figure out what we did wrong. So I figured it out. Make sure whenever you're doing this that you have the item be the exact same. So make sure that you have a new item stack and then you go down here to this thing and you press item stack and then type in all of your stuff. Because if you don't, it won't work. The other option is just come into where the other one is, right click and copy and then paste it over here so that way you're not having to worry about that. But now that it's reloaded, it actually works. So when I go here, we're, we'll just throw throw this stick away. If we go slash cool, we get a cool kid stick. And when we right click the air, it says, hey, I'm a cool kid, which is awesome because we are cool kids. 
I'm very proud of all of us. Good job, team. So now the other thing that you can do with this player interact event is you can do an if statement and if a player right clicks, let's say dirt, then it'll say, hey, you're a dirty kid. Something like that. So first we know we're going to need some block data, get block data of what, oh no, first we need a material. So let's get material, deck blah, 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 get material of block data. And then we need a get block data of what block. It's going to be the player interact block, block. So now that we know, hey, what clicked block did they click on? We're just going to change this to uh, dirt. So now we also have to do the same if statement up here. So if, if the player interact action is right click block, then we want to broadcast, I am a dirty boy, ha ha. So let's go build it and see if this actually works. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna actually, instead of dirt, cause I think I already have one on dirt, we're going to delete that and we're gonna do stone so we can beat stony boys. Stone, stone, stony. So now that we're back on the Minecraft world and we were reloaded the the plugin, we're going to come find some stone over here. And when we left click, when we break it, nothing happens. But when you right click it, we get, I am a stony boy. Ha 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 ha. Perfect. Good job, team. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. So this is really useful because you can use these things for event listeners and make toggles like we did in the last episode with the GUI. But instead of it being GUI toggles, you can do when you right click on stone or when you right click with your with your cool kids stick. It toggles between the stuff. Congratulations, you now understand player interact. Shameless self-promotion time. Thank you for watching. If you if you liked, please please consider subscribing. This is this has been a lot of fun and I'm enjoying making these videos. Um, I'm still working on this odd server. I, I have it built. It's just, I don't know if I'm ready to go public yet, but come soon. But it's coming soon. I promise. Um, I'm also planning on going on YouTube live soon to be able to build plugins. And we're going to start an impossible plugin very soon and have a prize for whoever can beat it. But that's for, that's for another time. We're, we're getting there. I promise. Thank you for watching. Bye.